morning. I don't know what it is, what time. It's it's 3 a.m. So I don't know if I should say good morning to you guys or what I should say, but it's 3 a.m. Monday is the day we go to New York and I haven't slept. So I finished editing the vlog. I know I told you that guys that I would edit the vlog while I was um, on the airplane. Hold on, I gotta open my chopstick. But I was up and I was like, I'm not gonna sleep now. So I edited the vlog, I ended up staying up all night basically. <laughs> Now we're just doing the final touches, making sure we have everything ready to go. I just need to find one more pair of headphones for the plane ride. And then I think we're off. I'm gonna call our Uber. I'm not gonna wake anyone up to drop us anyways. Let's start this journey to New York, shall we? You guys, it's snowing like crazy. Let's just hope that none of our flights get delayed. All right, so we got done with all the boring stuff, which is checking our bags, checking our luggage, going through security, getting asked questions on why we're visiting the States and all that. So now we're finally in the, oh mom, this is that stupid one. There's a terminal, which terminal is this? I hate coming to this terminal. There's a terminal here that's been, on, been under construction for like ever and they don't have good food here. They barely even have anything at Timmy's. What am I supposed to eat? It's like 4 a.m. I'm starving. Mom, this is the same terminal where when I was going to San Francisco on my back, I had this, uh, like uh, my back like spasm and I felt like I was paralyzed and I almost didn't go to my Knicks, my shoot, but I made it out alive. It's 4.15, our flight board at 5.15 and it departs at six. There's like a freshy store near one of the gates we're gonna go to, but I don't know if it's gonna be open because usually like late night, it's not open mm. and I'm regretting not going to sleep. Did I tell you guys I didn't sleep? Mm. Nothing is open yet. Oh. I could have fully ate at home. I had, there was dal chawal and shit at home. I was up all night. Why didn't I eat it? I'm gonna order something from here, mama. Spinach, onion, omelet, yogurt, parfait. I'm trying to find some food right now. I'm hungry. I ordered a veggie burger. Mom, mm -hmm. you actually want coffee? Yeah. At this time, you're gonna not gonna sleep in the plane. I gotta go get my mom some coffee. Okay, what am I supposed to do now? I paid. What up, kya karu? Live was a struggle. <laughs> oh, the new yeah. live was a struggle already starting traveling with me. They're so cute. Yeah, look, they already knew live. They spelled my name funny, but it's okay. The burger and onion rings at 4 a.m. It's good? Yeah, it's actually really good. No, no, I don't want it. Thank you. It's and this bur burger is made out of dal. It's made of dal, but it's $20 burger. Um. Not bad, it tastes like nothing. You don't like it? I like it. Then why you keep threatening me? Eat, eat. Hungry. It's just one hour flight level. I never get hungry in a flight. I always get hungry. Yeah, you such a fat kid. Who has a burger and fries at 4 a.m.? I do, for anyone asking. It's 4. It's 4.50. Our flight board's in about like 25 minutes and we still have to get our seats assigned. So we gotta head to the gate as soon as mom's done my burger. Hey, stop abusing. No, you guys, when hey. she walks, I don't know if you can tell. Her cheeks jiggle like burdoing, burdoing, burdoing. Have a good time. Thank you. This is us. It's snowing. Why does this always happen? Because you pack. Yeah, but how are you supposed to even pack these? But you tie them up, Lava. We landed in New York currently in the washroom. Guys, I, I always break out like when I'm on a flight. I don't know why. We are taking forever to get out. Mom, I'm so sleepy. Well, we had a two hour nap. <laughs> it was two hours? You guys, there's like all the bags packed up on this side. And look way down there. All of those are just bags that people have to claim. What the hell? My thing is probably from all the delayed flights. Guys, I'm still so shocked at all these bags. They're literally taking over the entire place. They're even on that side over there. We are here. Sleepy, but here. Okay, you guys, we got lucky. The guy at the front desk was actually so nice. Um, he gave us a room that, like, he found a room for us, like, ASAP, otherwise check-in was at 4. We would have, uh, there's a lot of people still waiting in the lobby and stuff, so we got lucky. 
going in the hotel right now. I'm like, I can we take a nap or something? Take a nap. Yes. Mom, How look at me. I look. Nap? I look crazy. One and a half hour you slept I look like in the I'm car. a mental person. So the thing about New York hotels is that they're very like not the the cutest. We are actually at a hotel right next to yeah. The rooms always the rooms are not cute. Ow! You just rolled over my foot. <laughs> But um, we're actually at a hotel that is right next to Times Square. Like literally, you walk and outside is Times Square. So I guess that's good. And we obviously never get a good view. It's always, it's always the roof. I'm gonna sleep. Yes, mom, please. I can't, you know I'm gonna be grumpy all day. Me and mom, we made a promise that we would never take an early flight again. And then I made the mistake. I just uploaded the vlog from the weekend, so I'll just be replying to your guys' comments. Don't know what else. <laughs> now who's sleeping? You burrito. You guys, oh my god, it's two o'clock. We fell asleep. And she sleep. came to New York to sleep. I came to New York to sleep. I could still sleep so much. You slept so much too. Should we like go do something? I just washed my face. You guys, I always break out when it's time to fly, so that's like nothing new. So I had put on some tea tree oil, which I'm gonna continue to do because I feel like the tea tree oil helps a lot with like the redness to go away. And then at nighttime, I'm gonna go in with the skincare that I brought. It's 2.30, mom and I are gonna just change quickly so we can go walk around outside. I'm gonna probably put on a hat. It surprisingly it wasn't too cold, no mom? Have you guys been keeping up with this Dear David story thing that's like going around on YouTube and stuff? Like, I wonder if it's actually real. I feel like it may not be because the guy who writes it is like a story writer or something. But, I don't know. So my eyes are still like bloodshot red because I'm still very tired. But, I mean, why are we gonna waste a day sleeping when we could be out and about? So, mom and I, or mom is changing now. I changed, I'm gonna put on my jacket. It's actually not cold out at all, so we'll see. Four or five years ago, mom and I took a picture here. I'll post it. Do you remember? I was holding a bag of hot Cheetos. Yeah, I still have it. Look at us with our matching hats. I guess we're walking towards the, like, the Times Square area now, which is actually like literally right in front of us. It's I'll show you guys as soon as we go under this hotel. So a lot of the street food here, if you guys have never been to New York, is actually halal. Like the halal guys are here and stuff like that. But um, we usually never eat that because if you can't, it's all like stall food. So you can't like grab it and then go get a chair and eat. We're probably gonna just like eat at a restaurant, grab some fries or something, right? Because we, we don't want to bring it back to the hotel. Okay guys, if you guys have never seen Times Square, this is it. They have this huge ass Forever 21 store here and it has like five stories. It's crazy. It's officially behind us. Right there. Right up there. So the first time that we came here, we actually took the subway everywhere because everyone told us like, I don't know, subway's good. And I don't know how we did that because apparently it's not dangerous, but like if you don't know your way around, it's not like good for you. First order of business, can you guys guess? Food. Duh. We ordered classic nachos, mom's favorite. Mom loves nachos. If you guys know anything about mom, she likes the nachos and the, 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 the guacamole and the salsa. There's actually a place here in New York that we were at like oh, like last year and we were gonna go back. So I will go there tomorrow, mom. Cause that whole area was nice too. It was the meat packing district or something like that. I'm falling asleep. We slept, but we slept like in and out. Like you never get a good sleep when you're like in and out of sleep. Look at what we got. Can I tell you guys? what true love is. <laughs> true love is when your mom gives you the really good nacho pieces. When she did have a good one. I gave her a really good one last time, that's why. Someone stop her. Why are you eating nachos with the fork? Try everything, guys. No, yeah, now the mom to try. <laughs> Mama, if we finish all this all, I'm gonna give you $10,000. <laughs> okay, so I feel like shit after eating those. Mom wants Starbucks now, so we're heading to Starbucks. It's right here across from us. And surprisingly, it's not cold at all. It's actually raining and it's uh, a little warm. Well, we borrowed Sana's gloves just to make sure that we, we stayed warm. But I told you guys that when we came here like two years ago, yo, it's like, it's like dead. That one's for mom and the baby one's for me. Guys, I put 
five sugars in this. And then I also made it like literally the color of my gloves. I'm glad it's raining. I would be down for it to snow too though, actually. I'm gonna make her stand on this thing to take a picture. Can you hurry before other people come and take your spot? Don't slip. Oh my God, this lady. No, hire. Yeah. No, don't fall, be careful. Okay, pose now. I'm gonna take a picture. <laughs> okay, we came into Forever 21. I like chugged my coffee so fast. Yeah. I'm gonna be really hyper now. Maybe. So I have to find like stuff for tropical areas of the world. That's gonna be hard. Guys, look, the Forever 21 store, there's like four floors. It goes down. I've never seen Times Square this like dead. Oh, it's Monday. Nobody comes to chill at Times Square on Monday. The sweetest follower. Her name is Naja. If you're watching this, thank you for saying hi. She actually found us. We were coming out of the Forever 21 store and she was looking for us, but she found us. I'm thinking tomorrow I'll update you guys on where I am. Stop looking at her because it's so cold outside. I know she was freezing. She was from Texas. Hi! A lot of you guys are trying to figure out where I am in New York. So after meeting a bunch of you here right now, that you guys are like the best stalkers in the world, by the way. Saying that in the best way possible. Um, I decided that tomorrow, like on Snapchat and stuff, well, the, by the time you guys see this vlog, it's already gonna be gone. But I'm just gonna let you guys know what area I'll be in. So if you're like around that area, I can meet you guys and I'll just update you store by store or like area by area, wherever I'm in, so you like can find me. We're just gonna play like a Where's Waldo game, but it's gonna be Where's Liva. Where is Liva? Yeah. So we're gonna try to go to Saks Fifth Avenue because we have nothing else to do. <laughs> It's so cold. It's actually not cold at all. It's but nice. like, my nose is cold. That's it. Oh. Struggle. I, like it. I feel like I'm wearing a mini dress. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Can we check? What do you want to check? She wants to check if my tart thing is still in Sephora. Let's check. We made it to Saks. I remember when I went to uh, London and we went in Harrods. They didn't let me record. They didn't let me record yeah. or they didn't let me bring food? I think they didn't let me bring food. Osama's birthday is in June and Ozara's birthday is in April, but I'm trying to see if I can get them early birthday gifts. I already know what Ozara wants. I'm gonna see if I like something for Osama. 5.30 at the moment. Seems like it's later because it's so dark out, but we're trying to, oh here it is. We're trying to find the Versace store and we're here. Guys, I'm such a sneakerhead, but if I had like, if I liked heels, I would have all the heels in the world. But I gravitate towards this, not this. <laughs> Versace got a cool elevator. It reminds me of like Willy Wonka chocolate factory elevator. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Look at the cat. And then they got a floating snowflake. Oh, 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 there's too many of us. Oh, which one's the real me? Window shopping is exhausting. <laughs> Yo, I can't find anything. I can find things for Osama, but Uzair is such a picky person. So we walked all the way to Central Park. That's, I'm pretty sure that's Central Park down there somewhere. Honestly, mom and I are having so much fun walking. You guys don't know we love walking, so we're so happy that the weather is nice here. And if you guys didn't know that here in New York, it's actually faster to walk places than it is to Uber. Like if we were to Uber to Saks Fifth Avenue, it was gonna take us like 25 minutes because of the traffic. But walking only took us 10. And plus you guys get to like you get to sightsee more when you walk around places, even though your feet hurt at the end of the day. I have to pee really, really bad. So we're headed back to the hotel. It's about like a 15 minute walk. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. We're still not hungry. We're trying to walk. Or I'm trying to walk enough until I get hungry again. <sighs> we're back in where are we back in? The hotel. So you know what, you guys? I wore powder today for the first time ever, just regular face setting powder and I'm looking at my skin and I was like, yo, I should just stop wearing found foundation. foundation. I should stop wearing foundation and just wear uh, powder because I actually like the way it looks better. I feel like foundation on me cakes up so easily. I have to pee really bad, that's why I'm moving like this. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like it's like a mental asylum and could be haunted. I'm gonna put our shoes and socks on top of my air isn't even warm. So it's 6.52, we're watching Two and a Half Men. I actually don't watch this show, but it's the only thing on right now. I feel so tired, but we're gonna be troopers and, well not really, but I know around like nine-ish I'm gonna get hungry. So mom and I will probably just rest for like an hour and then go back out. I'll show you guys Times Square at nighttime. We're gonna grab some halal guys or whatever that food place is that we like 
come back here and then tomorrow I have a full day so we're gonna be going to the Tarte headquarters and stuff just finished um, reading some comments on the vlog that I uploaded this morning um, also you guys are the best on snapchat and Instagram without me even asking you guys are like telling me places I should eat and stuff this is why I love you guys like we're, we're like you know here here we're connected through the mind you know <laughs> uh, she didn't laugh at my joke we are ready we're off to go get some food it's actually only what like eight o'clock nine o'clock eight o'clock um, but honestly, we're like getting really sleepy, so I'm just gonna go grab some food now and just chill in the hotel for the rest of the night. Ah, nice. It's hurting my face. Okay, take your scarf. Mama, yes. we don't look like we're gonna mob people. So Times Square at nighttime literally is lit up like it's daytime. Like even the pictures here at night come out really nice. It's right all over there because the lights are so bright. We all know I'm gonna come to the M&M store before we leave. I'm gonna come and get all the chocolate. We're gonna go get some food and then we're also gonna go to Walgreens so I can get some hot Cheetos. Times Square at nighttime though. It's like the best thing ever. No mom? Yeah. Oh, it's so cold, but it's just so beautiful. You guys, the stall people only take cash and obviously mom and I didn't bring cash because we always forget to bring cash. Now we could go to like a bank and get out cash Check out this traffic. It just goes and goes and goes. We are getting chicken over rice. And then mom's getting shish kebab. Oh, nice. You better like it. You never like it. Okay, we got the food. This is right here. I'm gonna eat. It's nine o'clock. I'm just honestly probably don't have much to tell you guys after I eat because I'm gonna be falling asleep. So I will see you in the morning. We actually got a really long day tomorrow. Where is this noise coming from? It's like 4 a.m. and we're trying to figure this out. Mama, what the hell? <laughs> Yo, you guys, the alarm just went off so loud. Oh. Why is it stop talking? We just, well technically I just woke up. It's 10.30, mom's been up since like 8. So you guys saw that like at 3 or 4 a.m. the stupid, there was a stupid alarm going off. And mom, mom and I were going crazy looking around the room because I thought it was like some kind of alarm clock going off. So we were looking under the bed, behind the bed, we were looking everywhere and then I called the front desk and they said it's some alarm going off. Anyway, so it's about 10, 10.30. We're gonna leave the hotel around 11. We're gonna go uh, to Tarts headquarters. I have a few things I need to do there so I'll take you guys with me and then along the way we're gonna try to find a breakfast place because I don't know we've never really found a good breakfast place here oh uh, and we're not drinking enough water and for me ah I know when I'm not drinking enough water because my what is my hurt what hurts kidney yeah. oh there's a little sharp pain in my kidney just got ready took my glasses off it seems like it's cold out but it says it's four degrees so mom and I switched jackets because um, I'm wearing and topis because I'm wearing a sweater underneath and like my jacket won't fit on top like it does but it's gonna be super super tight so we switched and now we're gonna head to the Tarte headquarters I have to be there for one it's right now it's like maybe 11:30, but we decided like as we're walking there we're just gonna have some breakfast or something and it's walking distance like 15 minutes away if that dog comes near my mom she's gonna die I need five sugars. <laughs> I mean, if I'm gonna have coffee, I'm gonna have it with five sugars because coffee tastes like shit. It does, but you need a cash. Actually, you like coffee. No? I, I quit coffee since Papa is gone, remember? Yeah, but then now from all the traveling and stuff. Yeah, because huh? traveling you need energy and obviously we want, you guys want to see us happy. <laughs> So gross. Even with five sugars, it's so gross. We were trying to decide between eating Chipotle or Subway and we decided on Subway. Subway. We tried to find a Subway and then we literally just couldn't find the Subway. And then we came to the Chipotle 
and then there's no seating in Chipotle and I'm trying to sit down and eat and I'm so hungry mom I don't know. so the sibling tag video just went up and I just told you guys on snapchat and stuff we're now headed to find a different subway that's a little bit further but I'm starving there's no way I cannot eat right now okay it's breakfast breakfast is important to me you guys why are you laughing breakfast is at 12 yes so my mom has this really bad habit every time we're walking somewhere she'll switch sides from this side and then she'll come on this side so every time I go to talk to her and I look on this side she's not there anymore and then I freak out for a little bit because I'm like yo I just lost my mom yeah yeah what if you got kidnapped throw garbage just no this time she went to go throw the garbage so I looked on this side she wasn't there then I looked on this side she wasn't there then I on this side again and she wasn't there and I like freaked out for a I'm really gonna hide when I'm gonna get upset with her. I'd cry. The most happens between us, she just tells me like shut up. If you don't shut up, I'm gonna leave you. And then I say go leave then. And then she doesn't leave. <laughs> and then our fights are done. Okay, we just went in another subway and they also don't have tables to sit on or sit at. So we just gave up. Just no breakfast for me today until I guess after the meeting and stuff. She's been telling me to get her a just, she's like, let's just get a croissant. A croissant and then. It's fast to eat and does not smell like Yeah, anything. and now that's so why. We have to go meeting. So. Okay, well, that's why you put Nazar on it. Yeah. Because God listens to moms over children. Okay? And now you put. Nazar on it, so now he's forcing me to. Now he he's forcing me to get a croissant because mom wanted a croissant. We're gonna go to this bakery here. Are you happy with your stupid croissant? Croissant. We got a um, a spinach and cheese croissant. Croissant. You guys liked it in my vlog when I said it right. And then we also got a chocolate one. That one's that one's mine. We have 20 minutes to eat. Are you happy? This is not bad. You can eat that. No, I don't like it. Can I give you guys a very unpopular opinion that mom and I will probably get backlash for? We don't like halal guys. We've been to New York like five times in the last two years and we try halal guys every single time and we regret it. No, one time ever. we got a good one. So Okay, one time we got a good one, okay? One time we got a good one and then but everything time after that, it wasn't good. And we had it last night and it wasn't good. So I don't know what's up. It just tastes like boiled chicken. It is boiled chicken. It is boiled chicken. No nothing, huh? I don't want to remember. So I'm at the Tarte office, as you guys can see, and I'm gonna do a little get ready with me on their Instagram stories with all these products. And I actually get to like sneak peek a new product that someone that people haven't seen yet. So that's this one here. I'm really excited. So I guess mom will show you guys a little bit of a background while I do it over there. So a tinted moisturizer is great for the days that you obviously are going for a natural look, but this one has an SPF of 20 in it, which is even better. If you guys don't know, you should wear sunscreen even in the winter time. It's actually really good for your skin. I just realized that the names are like really cute. So it's trainer, cardio, reps, tone up, snatch, cut. This is literally a palette meant for my life. <laughs> I just finished the mini get ready with me on Tarte's Instagram um, page, which will be gone by the time you see this vlog, but that's totally fine. Mom had some donuts because the Tarte team loves to spoil us, especially her. Now we're gonna do a little mini Facebook Live, and then I think we're out of here. Live is gonna show us some at-home workouts or in the office, yeah. if you wanna do in the office. You actually don't need that much space. You, yeah. we're, we're not in like a huge space either, so you guys are just Wherever you are, you can kind of just get up and do the workouts as well. I got all my Tarte goodies. We are ready to mm -hmm. go. They're spoiling us and giving us things to take home. All right, guys. So we are out of the office. They gave us a big pie to take home, and it's called it's called crack pie. And she said it's really good. Deanna from Tarte said it was really good. So they gave us that. They also gave us some donuts and a banana pudding that we're gonna take to the hotel right now. It's only about 2:30 or 2:45. We're headed back to the hotel. I'm going to do some shopping. I'm also going to change. Where are we? Mom's favorite. We are off to do some shopping. We're going to go to the Urban Outfitters. I already let you guys know on Snapchat that I will be there around 4.30. It's currently 4 o'clock. Should take us about 15 minutes to walk there. I want a new hat. I don't really like this hat. So we had Pizza Hut, as I showed you guys. I feel kind of like Ulti. That's why I don't like pizza. He's addicted to jaywalking. Mom, you don't live in New York? You live in Canada? Okay. No, we can't act like it. It's finally starting to get chilly. The wind chill is picking up. Guys, look, I'm breaking out so much. I just got a peel done too. You guys, that was Nabella. If you guys don't know who she is, take no, thank you. Check her out on Instagram. I can't believe I bumped into her. She lives in Philly, but she was here for an interview. So 
Oh, it was so nice to see her. We, I haven't seen her in like two years. Love is getting stocked up. Nice to meet you. First, that's so cute. They came. Alright, guys, I'm actually shocked at how many of you came last minute. If I didn't get to see you, I am doing another one in Feb. I'll be back in New York, inshallah. So I'll do like I'm hosting a proper meet and greet at that time. I wish I was able to vlog and show you guys every single person that I met, but oh my god, thank you so much for coming at such last minute, too. And the last girl I saw, she came with her baby. She was three months old and she was so freaking cute. You guys literally just made my entire trip. I'm feeling very, very sleepy all of a sudden. It's about six o'clock. I'm so sleepy. Are you? Me too. That took a lot of energy, eh? Yeah. Me don't feel good. Back in the room, I actually really don't feel good. Like at all. I think I might just be dehydrated because we didn't really drink much water today. I'm gonna lay down for a bit. I actually feel really like, I don't know. I don't feel good. So yeah, anyways, gonna lay down. It's about like seven o'clock right now and then maybe if I have energy go back out but eight o'clock and we're going to get me some pasta. Yeah, she's not feeling good. So I don't feel good. Can get me some food? We both look like Tindus. <laughs> we decided to go for a little walk. Maybe that'll make me feel better. It's actually cold today or tonight at least. It wasn't that cold in the daytime. We walked to Central Park. It's actually not that far from our hotel. And then, what are we gonna do? Just walk in the park, yeah. mom? Yo, people are like still running and stuff at this time. Yeah. And it's he's running in a shorts. That guy's running in shorts over there, damn. Our flight leaves on Thursday at 3 p.m. Tomorrow we're gonna be fairly busy doing stuff. I got some food and it's what, like nine o'clock-ish or something now. So I'm gonna put the vlog down, I'm gonna do the rest of the emails for the challenge and then call it a night. We are getting ready and we're gonna walk to IHOP. IHOP is about a 45 minute walk away but mom and I are kind of craving IHOP. Right mom? Yeah. We are ready to go. We're on 50, 52nd Street and IHOP is on 14th Street. So that's about a 45 minute walk. Um, so I mean we've done it before, like last time we've yeah. come, but right now our feet are hurting. Because we walked yesterday so much. We walked so much yesterday, so we're gonna see if we can find a um, restaurant like in between somewhere instead. I'm gonna fight the next person that bumps into me because there's so much room. Yet I've had three people knock into me. Mom knows it's true. I'm gonna fight them. I don't like being touched. And I especially don't like when people touch my mom. Oh, that gets me so mad. Someone touches mom, I was like, mom, did they touch you? Mom, did they touch you? And she's like, no, they didn't touch me. We came in this really cool store. They have like, I don't know, they have weird things. I'm gonna get this for Zer. Imagine. He'd probably use it too. And then had to add time skirt. Okay. I'm gonna have to leave her alone for a little bit, so I'm making sure she knows the name of our hotel and like she has all the information in case she gets lost. And she I'll needs take you guys out with me. <laughs> Mom, see, I don't like her going out by herself. I don't. It freaks me out. I'm gonna stress out. Her That's phone doesn't. Me and you will have fun. Better go. Mom, you guys, this this freaks me out though. Like, I don't like her walking the streets by herself. It took us exactly an hour to walk here. I can't wait to eat. Does it stress anyone else out when the waiter doesn't write down your order? They just like mentally record it. Just me out. What if she brings me the wrong thing now? So I had ordered just one, and I told you guys she'd get it wrong. She got me two, and I had ordered hash browns, not these potatoes, and she gave me potatoes. And then she gave me an extra potato. So we got three potatoes. We're done. Now we're gonna walk home. We were gonna Uber it, but we're gonna walk because we're so full. These people speak my language. This guy got a big bag of snacks. Okie dokies. We are back in the hotel. I got a shower get ready for where I need to go. So from this point forward, either mom will vlog if she goes out, which I don't want you to go out, but you are your own person and you are grown up, so you can do what you want. Um, and then if she vlogs, you know, she vlogs. So Laiva went to work and I'm gonna take you guys for some shopping. Don't tell Laiva I am going out. I already put in my story, so hopefully nobody snitch on me. And I'm gonna take you for shopping and then we'll have some coffee. 
Hopefully I'll find something. So I did went to the store but I didn't buy it because I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, they're gonna let me wear or not. So it's getting kind of dark so I'm gonna go before she freaking out and messaging me. So I don't know. I don't like alone outside so I'll go back home. Friends, 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 hello. It's 8.30 so it's been a while since I vlogged. I'm not sure if mom took you guys out or not because She's in the washroom, so I haven't asked her. But right now, we're about to go have some food because we ordered, we uber eated something called kati roll or kati roll, whatever the hell it was. And it was like, literally like this how big it was. So that didn't fill me up. That was like more like a snack. So we're gonna go and like find some food and then we're going home tomorrow. 